All right, so this one is a sum of two cubes, but b and b to the power 4 are not cubed in any form or fashion, but they are common between the two terms. So let's factor out a b from both of these. And what do we have left? I've got an a cubed plus 8b cubed. Well, now we have two perfect cubes that are being added together. Uh, from the parentheses specifically, we've got an a value, which is, well, it's going to stay a. And But the b value, <clears throat> 8 is 2 cubed, and b cubed is b cubed. So exponent rules, we've got a 2b cubed. So b is 2b. And now when we write this expression out, this is the sum of the two cubes. Um, I've got b times, you know, that's going to be confusing with that blue b. So I'm just going to focus on the black parentheses there. So if we have, in fact, I don't even need this garbage, a cubed plus b cubed equals a plus b. And I've got an a squared minus a b plus b squared yes yeah, sorry they use the same letters that's not your fault we're good so the a in this case is well a uh, sorry that was not on purpose the b value though we're going to replace with two b's so i got a two b here 2b there, and this is a 2b that's being squared, which may be hard to see now. But I've got a plus 2b, then I've got a squared minus 2ab. Where did you get the a cubed plus b squared? No, that's <laughs> purely my fault. That's b cubed there, okay. so a, I don't know, calligraphical error. Uh, well, it's 2b squared. Yeah, so we need to square the 2 and the b, and that would give us 4b squared. <coughs> this would be our final answer right here. B, thank you. That's from this one right here. Thanks for pointing that out. This b goes in the front.